Unfortunately, HPAI has not gone away. And in fact, we seem to be entering a period where the risk is becoming very high again that this disease could significantly affect bird populations in the UK. This is RSPB's Merced Reserve in the southwest of Scotland. And at this time of year, there's a very special visitor here, barnacle geese. Uh, they come here from their breeding grounds in Svalbard. I say visitor, actually they spend like seven months of the year here, so actually maybe Merced is more their home. Anyway, they are absolutely stunning birds. Back in 2021, when bird flu or HPAI first arrived in the UK, this is one of the first populations of birds to be affected and thousands of these geese died. Now, thankfully, we're seeing uh, a big bounce back from these birds and there are plenty around to see today and over the last few winters. But we seem to be entering a period where the risk is becoming very high again that this disease could significantly affect bird populations in the UK. In the past, we've seen catastrophic impacts on seabirds, on wildfowl like ducks and geese, but on a really wide range of birds, you know, even seeing cases in some of our most spectacular raptors like white-tailed eagles. The RSPB is working hard on our reserves to monitor what is happening uh, and to deal with uh, the impacts of the disease where we need to deal with them. We're also still talking to governments across the UK about what they need to do to make sure that they have everything in place to deal with the impact on wild birds and to try and make wild birds as resilient as possible to a problem like this. And it has never been more important to make sure that we are addressing the issues that we can address so that these birds are in the best place they can be to survive things we can't control, like the arrival of a disease. There are things that you can do. The first thing is if you're out and about and you see uh, sick or dead birds, please don't touch them, please don't approach them. It's a very small risk to human health, but that risk is real. But you can report them to the relevant government, depending on where you are. The details for how to do that are in this post. The other thing you can do is that RSPB members and supporters have been immensely generous in helping support our work around HPI, and we are very grateful for that. Our Wildlife Diseases Fund is still open, and if you're in a position where you can make a donation, details for how to do that are also in this post. We don't know, as ever, with a disease like this, what the impact will be on wild birds this winter and which species will be affected. What we can do is prepare ourselves as best as we can with your support to be in a position to deal with that and to try and make sure that our wild birds are as resilient as they possibly can be. And we'll keep you up to date with what happens over the winter.